So we're here at the Everything Electric show in London. We're gonna meet some other great companies that are working in the home electrification space. We'll bring those insights to you so that you can continue to make great choices about what technology to install in your home. So Johan, it's great to meet you. We, we're installing quite a few Tepio heat batteries at the moment. We're probably doing one, one a week. Um, we've got quite a few booked into the pipeline. Would you be able to tell our customers, for those who don't know about the Zeb, a little bit about the product and what it can do for them? Yeah, absolutely, Matt. Um, so, it's, well, first, it's great to, great to hear, uh, you know, we are seeing, uh, you know, increasing growth in, in this market all the time. And yeah. There's so much enthusiasm and passion from people you can see at the show that people just really want to find a solution for decarbonizing mm -hmm. their home. Um, and, and the Zeb is a really, a really simple, relatively low cost and, and easy swap for, for an existing gas boiler. So okay. um, this is this is the product, the Zeb. Um, this is obviously a show version, which has got the front right. cut away so okay, you can yes. see inside it. Um, but what the heat battery does is it takes electricity from the grid. Uh, it stores that as very high density energy, it's thermal energy, heat. Mm -hmm. Um, and then it puts that into your central heating system whenever you want it. Mm -hmm. So um, it's responding to the thermostat in exactly the same way as your existing gas boiler, or oil boiler, or LPG boiler would, biomass for that matter, and uh, just giving you heat whenever you need it. Mm -hmm. So the, the, the great thing about it, but importantly, it's going to give you the same heating experience as you had before. So you don't need to change the way uh, that you do your heating and you don't yep. need to upgrade other things in your home. So I think um, there's quite a lot of confusion around how people can decarbonize their homes. Um, you know, there's a lot of mixed messaging. What, what is it that the Tepio does vis-a-vis -vis something like the heat pump? Yeah, it's a good point, Matt. I think the, one of the biggest challenges we have is, is education and there is a lot of mixed messaging out there. Um, so to decarbonize heating, we have to electrify it. And broadly, there are two ways you can electrify your heating in a way that's both economical and actually lowers carbon. Either by um, a product that's highly efficient, like a heat pump, or through a heat battery, a product that's highly flexible, like the Zev. Mm -hmm. So with a heat pump, you, uh, you take one unit of electricity and you basically have a product that sits outside your house and works like a fridge in reverse, mm -hmm. takes the heat from outside, multiplies it up and puts it into your home. Uh, and in doing so, you know, one unit of electricity, you can expect to give you about three units of heat into your visual heating system over the year. With a heat battery, it's 100% efficient when it's installed inside the heating envelope. Um, so one unit of heat of electricity gives you one unit of heat. Yep. However, it's hugely, hugely flexible. And if we use off-peak tariffs that are widely available, mm -hmm. you would get a three to one ratio or more sometimes mm -hmm. between that off-peak price yeah. and the peak price. Absolutely. So it's about being so flexible about when it's using energy that actually that running cost then becomes comparable yeah. with, with something like yeah. a heat So pump. really it's an equivalent price in terms it's, of running cost. In terms cost. of running cost, it tends for the right home, it tends to be equivalent yeah. running cost to a heat pump. And actually, uh, just as of the 1st of April, the uh, off-gem price cap has now changed such that the, uh, the, the price cap of gas is now above what you can get from off-peak electricity tariffs. Right, okay. So now for the first time, it's, very, it's actually very, very doable to okay. actually save money even on a gas boiler. But certainly if you're on an LPG, uh, you know, oil or biomass, uh, you know, you should be able to save money uh, as well by switching to a Zeb. So just so our customers are kind of really clear on what, what the product is and what it's doing, the, the, the Zeb plugs into your existing wet heating radiator system. Is that right? Correct. So it, it has the same flow and return piping, we call it, two pipes coming out of the back. The same two pipes. Well, I find that most of our customers wouldn't know a flow and return pipe if they fish, if they were standing right in front of them. Yeah, well, some plumbers don't either. So, <laughs> <laughs> but, um, so two pipes coming out of your existing gas boiler, yes. or your existing boiler. You have the same two pipes coming out of the zone. Okay. And so those two pipes go into the same into your same system. They'll heat your radiators or your underfloor heating, microball piping. If you have, if you know yeah. what that is, some yeah. some some owners have that. Um, and so it's really just doing exactly the same job. Um, you get access to the Tepio app, and in that you can set your flow temperature. So you can set up to 80 degree flow temperature, mm -hmm. which is, um, most owners don't need that higher flow, flow temperature, but you can. Um, or you can dial it right down to 35 degrees if you have just under full heating and, and if that's suitable. So it really, it is, it is about making the transition easy for consumers, easy, easy to understand, yeah. and something that you're familiar with, um, because it works in a very similar yeah. way to, a, to exist. So how, does this 
differ from a storage heater? Good question. So the principles are quite similar. There are lots of parallels, actually. We're taking electricity, we're storing it in a high density storage unit. But there are two big differences. Right. The first is that a storage heater is a room heater. So that's heating your room directly. Um, a bit like this radiator on the wall here. If you imagine this was just heated directly by electricity, that's a storage heater. So there's no, there are no pipes. Now 90 plus percent of homes in the UK have wet central heating systems, i.e. radiators and underfloor heating. So a storage heater doesn't work for those homes. So the Zeb is a bit like a storage heater, but we heating a wet central heating system. The second key difference of the storage heater is that we are storing the heat centrally, somewhere in your house. Um, but we have a huge amount of storage in one place right. and we're able to then um, optimize uh, across the whole heat demand of the home in a very smart way and forecast your overall heat demand and then buy electricity when it's cheapest or greenest. Yeah. Um, so that smart control element um, is is, uh, is really important part of it. So let's talk about the, the box then. So this mm. is about the same size, so it's about the same width as a washing machine. It's slightly higher. Actually, it is a little bit higher. It's the same footprint, so it's 600 wide. Yeah. Um, so it will fit, you know, under there. Cupboard is quite common, or the utility rooms, or already okay. kitchen inside. But what's inside it? It, it is just well, a white box. Get you, you can get multicolored fronts, and I, I, I love. I've got this on my one at home, oh, right. uh, which is the the climate stripes. Um, but but basically, what's inside it is the the top two thirds of it is your storage medium. Mm. Um, in fact, the storage element is actually only about that big. Mm. And it's a, it's basically quite a complex uh, ceramic matrix. Um, and the great thing with it is that it doesn't degrade over time. Right, okay. So, you know, this product, unlike say a chemical battery, is not gonna um, lose storage capacity over time. Right. So 20 years, it's still gonna have the same 40 kilowatt yes. hours of battery, okay. which is a really important thing to factor in if you're thinking about how you wanna store energy in your home. But so um, the top bit is basically just heating up to very high temperatures, up to about 800 degrees. It's then surrounded by a huge amount of very high efficiency insulation. And we, um, at the bottom, have the plumbing, essentially. Uh, looks very similar to what you would see if you open up a gas boiler. Right. With um, passing air through the core, cold air, extracting heat from the core, and that air is going over a heat exchanger, transferring that heat into the water system. My feedback from the plumbers is that, you know, they love it. It's very, very straightforward, as you said at the beginning, very straightforward for them to fit. Um, and the way we're uh, tending to operate at the moment is we'll, we'll strip everything out on, the, on day one. Uh, day two, the electrician will come in and, and run his cables. And then day three is uh, installing the, the, the Z and, and commissioning. And it's, it's a really quite a straightforward process for them. Um, nothing too complicated. We don't have to chase out walls. We don't have to run pipe work anywhere. It's just a, it's yeah. just a really straightforward fit. At Brimstone, we're really proud to be part of your Tepio Pro network. And we're seeing a huge amount of traction with the device. And we look forward to installing many more in the future. Now, thanks. Thanks very much. Cheers, man. Thanks for your time.